Okay, so what we are going to do this at uh, this point is to look at t-test. So t-test is to test whether it's the average of two samples um, is it statistically different from each other. Okay, so let us just write down in this case, for example, if I want to do the if I want to test the null hypothesis, hypothesis is that the average marks for English equals to the average marks for Chinese. Okay, so the alternate hypothesis will be the average marks for English is not equal to the average marks for Chinese. So we have our set of 10 students here, the English marks and the Chinese marks. So are they comparable? Okay. Now, t-test, there are three different versions. Okay. Let me just write down. There are actually three different types of t-test. Okay. What are the three different types? The first one is known as a head t-test. The second one is your two samples t-test with or rather assuming equal variance and then you have the third one which is your two samples t-test without assuming equal variance or assuming non-equal variance okay so two sample t-test assuming unequal variance so these are three different types. So how do we do that? Okay. Number one is you can actually look at the variance. So you can actually look at the variance um, is just the square of standard deviation. So we can actually find the standard deviation of this English and Chinese marks. So standard deviation, use the standard deviation S. So these two are the standard deviation. Okay. You see that there is actually a difference in standard deviation, but can it, uh, is it statistically significant or not? Okay. So what you can also see is, this is the average. Average. This is what we have done before. Okay, so the average for English is 73.3. The average of in Chinese is 67.1. Is these two statistically different from each other? Okay. Now, the easiest way to do your t-test is to use the formula just to calculate the p-value. So we can calculate the p-value of, um, we actually say that two samples t-test assume equal variance do for two samples assuming equal variance okay. all right so let us put here how do we do that the function or the formula is using t-test now you realize that if i go here there's actually four options or rather four four um items that you need to put in for parameters that you put in. Array one is one of the data set or one of the samples. Array two is another sample. So now array one I have for English, array two I have for Chinese. The tail, it, do I want to do a one tail test or two tail test? Usually we want to do a two tail test. Okay. Number, just look at it here. It tells you that one is pet t test, two is assuming equal variance and three is assuming unequal variance. So we want to use two, assuming equal variance. So we take two. Now, this is the p-value, which means that although the average is different, there is still, average is numerically different, but there is still 6% chance that these two are indeed the same. The average one is actually supposed to be the same. So in this case, based on the threshold of 5%, we cannot reject the null hypothesis. So here we say that we fail to reject null hypothesis. So this is the conclusion. 
okay, which then leads to we accept the null hypothesis. How about un assuming unequal variance? Okay, assuming unequal variance, we can just do the same method except now is we change the option from two, the type from two to three. That will just give us the unequal variance. And there is 6.3% chance that these two, the average marks for English is equal to the average marks for Chinese. So as you, you come back to, we cannot reject the null hypothesis. You will realize that when you do t-test, if you can assume equal variance, the p-value, the probability value, will always be lower than assuming unequal variance. So how about pet t-test? Because this each row is one student, so there's a pairing. This is John, this is, this is also John. So there's also a pairing effect. So we can actually do a pet t-test as well. So pet t-test, the p-value, oops, okay, we just change the type to type 1. Now, even on PET t-test, it is actually 11% chance that the null hypothesis is correct. So, uh, same thing, we cannot reject the null hypothesis. Okay, so this is using formula. Can we do the same? using um, a data analysis tab. Of course, there's no problem with that. So let me just pull this out a little bit. Okay, and I just kind of throw this aside here. Um, should I? Okay, I'll just put it here. Okay. okay, so how do we do that? We go to oops, data analysis, the data tab, data analysis. Now, same thing, if you scroll down, there are three t-tests. PET t-test, two samples assuming equal variance, and two samples assuming unequal variance. Okay. So, the method is identical. In fact, if I click on them, you see the screen. The format is identical. So, let us just do un assuming unequal variance. Okay, to see whether do you get the same result as here. So this is unequal variance. And just highlight this is the unequal variance part, the p value. Okay. Now, okay, assuming unequal variance. So now variable one range. So I highlight the entire English. So I remember I highlight the word English. Okay. So which means that I have to click on the label because I highlighted the label. So the other one, I also make sure that I highlight the label as well. All right. Then I click on the output range. So I find somewhere to throw my results. Let's put it here. Then I click OK. Now, this is what you get. Okay. You see, the average for English and the average for Chinese is the same as what we have just now. So let me color in light green. The average for English and average for Chinese. Okay. The variance is just 70, 27 is just a square of 5.2 and square of 8.3 is about um, 69. Okay. So what you end up with is two tail. So this is the p value when you have a two tail test. So this is the same as what you see here. Okay. That's it. If you want to do a PET T test, you can repeat it. It will still give you the same result from here. All right. So the question now becomes, should I use, uh, should I assume equal variance or unequal variance? How do I make the decision? For that, in some other software, there's, there's other methods. For example, in SPSS, you can use Levine's test. But in Excel, there is no Levine's test. The easiest way is to do a F test. Okay, here in data analysis tab, there is this F test 
two samples for variances. Okay, so we click on that. So two sample variances. The dialog box is very similar to your t-test. Okay, let us just repeat the whole thing. Labels, then I put output. So I put the output here. All right. So what does it mean? Okay. It means that although there is a significant variance, but there is still 0.9% chance that the now hypothesis is true, which means that the two variances, these two variances may actually be the same. Therefore, using this result, we can actually do a t-test assuming equal variance. However, if you do not want to go through this step to test for the variances, the equality of variances, simply assume unequal variance. That is also fine. All right? That's all for now. See you again. <clears throat>